Video number two. Is James a racist, anti-Semitic, uh, what was the other thing? White supremacist. My God. Am I racist because I say that animals are enslaved? Absolutely not. Animals are enslaved. It's a fact. It has nothing to do with anybody else. Am I anti-Semitic because I say that animals are enduring right now a holocaust? No, because the definition of holocaust is a mass slaughter of innocent beings. I'm using a word free to anybody in the dic dictionary to describe the plight of current holocaust victims. Am I a white supremacist? Hell no, absolutely not. I don't even like, I don't even know where people got that from. I think it's because I choose to say these things despite it offending certain people in minority groups. I'm sorry about that if you feel offended by it, but I think it's much worse to not say what is ac actually happening to the animals. I believe that is an injustice in itself and offending people is not an injustice. Not saying that animals are getting enslaved and tortured and murdered and raped and being in a holocaust right now, that is a much greater injustice to me than offending somebody. So that's why I choose to say it how it is. And it's very powerful language. It's very important. We use the most powerful language possible because we need to do everything we can to end this Holocaust. If we're not doing everything we can, we are not doing the right service to the victims. We should do whatever we can. There's nothing wrong with using these words. They're totally, entirely, 100% factually accurate. So we should use them. If they make people go, what? I'm eating a Holocaust victim? That sounds pretty bad. Yeah, it is bad. It's as bad as it sounds. Stop. It's very hard to get people to go vegan, shockingly. It's ridiculous. Yes, I know. But they will watch footage of animals slaughtered and be like, I'm going to go have some bacon. They think that animal rights is a joke. They think that vegans are a joke. So we need to stop. We need to say something to make them realize it's not a joke at all what is happening to animals in slaughterhouses which you have probably seen and i have seen firsthand numerous times in slaughterhouses it's very far from a joke these are sentient beings who feel and suffer just like we do it's not a joke what is happening in there we need people to take animal rights seriously we need people to take the animal holocaust seriously that's why I use these words. It's not a buzzword, as people say. How offensive to the victims that you think it's a buzzword to say it's a Holocaust just because they're a different species. People think I'm doing this for social media fame. I've lost 24,000 followers since I started talking about this in this way. Hello, I'm getting the opposite of social media fame. I'm losing tens of thousands of followers. It's got nothing to do with me. Stop trying to make what I'm saying about the Holocaust about me. It's not about me, it's about the victims. It's about them. It's about describing their plight accurately so people will take it seriously so it can come to an end sooner. And that's what I believe is very important. If you don't wanna use these words, cool, that's fine. Do I think you should? 100% yes, because they're accurate and they're strong and they make people connect to the actual reality rather than wishy-washy words like forcible impregnation, slaughter, which is a euphemism for murder, which is what the, the, um, the slaughterhouses use, you know? We need to use real words that make people connect. They are raped. It's a fact. You, you can point to the dictionary definition and what happens to them, and it's the same thing. Same with slavery, same with Holocaust. So I'm just being accurate. I'm not trying to offend people. I'm trying to speak up for the victims the way they deserve. I'm shocked. I'm shocked that so many people are telling me not to use these words. Even Jewish people who are connected to the Holocaust, instead of being outraged at the animal Holocaust, where animals are literally forced into gas chambers and 2.7 trillion of them are murdered every year. Instead of being outraged by that, you're outraged at me or other activists for saying a word. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous, okay? You don't own the word. Nobody owns the word. There's been many holocausts and there'll be many more. And there's one, at least one, happening right now. And it was happening long before all the other holocausts. And literally the victims of the holocaust in World War II were eating 
the corpses of the animal holocaust victims so it's a holocaust i'm not anti-semitic at all zero percent there is not a trace of racism or anti-semitism or white supremacy in me i believe all beings are equal and deserving of respect i don't think i'm better than anybody because i'm white i don't think that i'm that jewish people are lesser or anything like that at all in fact just to let you know not that it's relevant but my biological dad is Jewish. I don't actually know him. I'm an IVF baby, test tube baby, but I've got his genes in me and he's Jewish. It's irrelevant actually. One, because I don't know the guy and two, because anybody should be able to describe it as a Holocaust because it is a Holocaust and we shouldn't water down the message just because some people are offended by it. There's a lot of Jewish people who agree. There's a lot of people of color who agree that animals are enslaved. And even if you don't agree, you're wrong because they are enslaved because it is a Holocaust. Okay, that is my thoughts on that. I don't really think I have anything else to say on the topic. I believe all beings deserve respect. That's why I'm an animal rights activist. And if it wasn't for the animals being in such a hellish situation, I would be an activist for another cause. And I don't think that animal rights is more deserving or more important than any other cause necessarily. I've just, this is what I've fallen into. This is what I know. And I only have a certain amount of hours in the day. So I focus on what I can. I do what I can. This is what I'm educated on. This is where I have an impact. I don't think that people should stop being activists for, um, to stop anti-Semitism or to stop racism. I'm all for it. I support it. I am 100% behind it. I focus on what I focus on because animals also deserve to be represented because no one can represent them. They can't represent themselves is what I mean. They need humans to do it. I just happen to be someone who has chosen to do that. But I support all, all social justice movements against oppression, against injustice, all of them, okay? I think it's wrong that people have, have ever been enslaved or that, of course, I'm so against what happened in World War II. I hate the idea of war completely. I want everyone to just be peace and love. That's what we're trying to work towards here. So that's what I got to say about that. Anyway, I'm rambling a little bit now. Peace, next video coming up.